So if you have a student who wants to complete some assignments and you're going to allow them to do that after the term has ended, the first thing you can do is go into your course and then go up to Edit Course. And we're going to make sure that your course is active. It has to be active for your students to be able to actually get into the course. We'll click Edit Course and Course Offering Information, which you see here. And we'll make sure that the course is active. Now, your course may be active with a blue checkbox here, but it might also have the ending date box checked. Um, so in this case, if you want to allow a student to work outside of those course, course dates, you have to uncheck the ending date for your course and then click Save. That makes it so that once again your student can get access to your course. So that's the first level. The second thing you'll need to do is give your students special access to any assignments where the due date is passed. So for example, in this case, I'm using the Dropbox and here's a field trip report that was due on May 10th. Now it's July, I have a student who's going to be working over the fall semester. What I can do is I can, from this Dropbox screen, come over to the Actions column and click on the Edit Pencil icon. And Of course it gives me all of my um, regular properties, but I want to go to this Restrictions tab because that's where I had set the due dates originally. And you'll see that the ending date was May 10th. Rather than expand that, because I want to keep intact my class as it was um, at the end of that spring semester, what I'm going to do is come down here to where it says Special Access, and I'm just going to go with this first option that says Allow Users with Special Access to Submit Assignments Outside the Normal Availability Dates. So I'll leave that radio button on and I'll click Add Users to Special Access. This will bring up a list of students who are um, enrolled or who were enrolled in the class last semester. And I'll come up here and I'll say add Norma Baker in this case. And then um, I also need to set the date availability for this user. So I'm going to give this user the permission to submit assignments up through, let's say, October 1st. Now when I save that special access, you'll see on the following screen where it'll show Norma's name and it'll show the due date for her to submit. So again, here it is right here. Norma Baker has special access that ends on October 1st at 1243 p.m. Meanwhile, the rest of the class only had access through May. So using those two elements, that should give your student access to the D2L work they need to do.